And this one is called The Problem with Anime Watchers. A bunch of stinky, virgin, incel, simp, all of the buzzwords that you can probably think of in one category. Why? Because we like booty stuff. Let's see it. Ohio got seamots. Watashi wa flays fire sama. Watashi wa totemo chisai pinesu o motimasu. If you want. <laughs> Hello, my Oni chan. I have that kind of vibes right now. Watch anime. You are a bad person. What is that right there? A little anime girl? That's Mahito. Mm. No, definitely femboy. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and complain. He's very well cultured. He's very well cultured. Even look at the Goku, you know, profile. Not the pro- the, the, the Goku, like, uh, display. Like a very fat Goku behind the scene. Ain't about weeaboos, because Frank did that 15 years ago. Before he abandoned YouTube to go sell Joji Music. Spoons. New York. A lot has changed in that time. Yeah. Societies have risen and fell. I have no issues with the weeaboos. Let them be cringe. What I have a problem with is the anime watchers. Protect my queen. Mental sickness. And when I say anime watch, well, yeah. I mean, not anime watchers are like this. It's just there's a lot of people who want a dummy mommy to you know chain them up, and some shows really play into that whole you know. BDSM shit with Makima. Protect my queen. Mental sickness. And when I say anime watchers, you know the ones. Oh, you cringe, Normie. I am a consumer of the cultural delights of I want to have intercourse with my sister, but incest is illegal, but I turned her into a toaster, and it's okay to have sex with your toaster if you live in Arkansas. And I that could be a light novel title. Also, this little indie underground anime, I'm pretty sure you've never heard of it. It's called Chainsaw Man. Pretty mm. niche. Those are the ones I'm talking about. Don't worry, if you like Goku or the one with the dog who's- Wait, 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 wait. Goku running a kebab shop? Okay. Or the one with the dog whose name I'm not allowed to pronounce. Dog. Oh. Yo. I know this. I saw random images on Twitter about it. Uh, this main character is like a dog, and uh, he says the N word. Yeah, yeah. I I think that this is supposed to be that word right here. It's a crazy series. Then you're fine. Bad takes. I've heard bad opinions from everybody. Sometimes. Oh, I can't read this shit. No, I can't read that shit. You slip up and you say something that disallows you from pursuing a college degree. That's how it'd be. But anime profile pictures are on another level. YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, Amazon, Smart mm. Fridge, doesn't matter the platform. Anime fans will use it as a way to upload Aaron Yeager as their profile picture. Yo, yo, I saw that. Hold up. Morbidly obese Lois Griffin. Why do you have that there? Upload Aaron Yeager as their profile picture and say something so inconceivably incorrect that you almost start believing it because it is so batshit insane you almost have to gaslight yourself as a cope to not lose your own sanity okay it's I just words i could have and raise children you can hear the woke side of twitter having a stroke or some shit relax white people don't age well because we don't belong here we're not of this realm. Our entire being is straddling the spiritual, physical. I'd argue I've seen also a lot of unhinged takes on Twitter, not just from anime profile pictures, but just like other shit too. And it's because Twitter is just the biggest cesspool, the biggest coliseum of the most mentally ill coming together to say the most unhinged shit, rage baiting, or just trying to be a victim in order to, you know, uh, gain negative engagement for clout because they don't feel anything in real life. Physical. Blue eyes, gold hair, white skin. We are ethereal. Our spirit is legit trying to escape samsara through our body. You do realize all this happened 2,000 years ago when it was normal for 14 year old girls to give back. Okay, we gotta stop with that. Hey, 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 hey. You know what else happened 2,000 years ago or something? Well, no, no, no. I hate. I hate. Okay, only reason we've done that loud that now because people have grown to be immature. And they, no, 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 no. I hate logic like this. Some people, and like, they, there was these talking points in the Mushoku Tensei shit too, where like, something terrible is happening, and people justify it by saying, well, back in the day, it was like that. Well, guess what? Back in the day, slavery existed. Back in the day, the bubonic plague existed. 
all of your logic saying, well, it used to be like that back in the day. Guess what? We are human beings. That's evolving as time progresses. Now, I think that it's more of like a pendulum and we're regressing to monkey. But like, what? So, so just like back in the medieval days, it was common for a dude to just show up and just bash your head in with the fucking hammer. So does that suddenly justify that act in modern society? Death. The only reason we don't do it now is because people have grown to be immature and their bodies do not develop the same. <laughs> Bruh. The only reason we don't do that now. Am I the fucking crazy one? Sometimes I have to like think about this. Because I feel like I'm being gaslit by a bunch of mentally ill people in straight jackets, and because they all propagate and keep, you know, shouting the same opinion, I'm like, am I actually crazy? I, I can't tell anymore. This is all anecdotal, of course, but if I had to rank the most incomprehensibly reprehensible sentences written by man, it would go anime profile pictures, hmm. milady owners. I've never seen these. I've genuinely seen never seen profile pictures that look like this me do you watch the dub or do you watch the sub are you a dub normie or a sub chad giga chad nordic gamer sub enjoyer or soy jack non red pilled dub consumer shut up they both have their inherent strengths and weaknesses the subtitle i think there's a lot more strength for subs than dubs i think some people <laughs> there's a recent meme of like I think the biggest, funniest uh, talking point about why dub readers, dub, dub watchers are like inferior is because your brain lacks the capacity to like read and see what's happening at the same time. Thank you, David, for the tier one sub. Yes, watching it raw is the true experience, bro. I don't need subtitles. I just, I learned Japanese by watching so much anime for the last decade or so. Now, I, I think that sub or dub, I think the voice acting is always going to be better. Maybe always is the wrong word, but pretty much like majority, predominantly sub voice acting, right? Superior because of the culture, because of the base competency of voice actors, and because the setting with anime, it just makes sense for Japanese people to be doing it. Do you want some random cringe shit happening in like a Japanese high school setting of like English, you know, English voice actors? It, it's weird. It just feels out of place. If there's animes like Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Champloo, what else is there? Uh, there's that, uh, Ghost in the Shell. See how Vinland Saga, Berserk maybe? Like, see how these animes, they're like more Western setting rather than just like in a Japanese fucking middle school setting? I think those actually make sense for English dub. And I think a lot of people also watched, you know, Dragon Ball or many other shows. Um, they're anime, but they watch it in dub. Therefore, there's like that nostalgia kind of factor and like the, the bias because that was your first time watching it. But um, I think that, again, Japanese voice acting is always going to be superior. Their base level of competency doesn't mean that there is bad, doesn't mean that there isn't a good English dub, but predominantly it's going to be Japanese sub. Metal version usually has better vocal performances. <laughs> Stuck, ain't you? One quick yank of the knife and I'll be picking your fingers out of the snow for a fall. I mean, this, because again, the setting is so different and wild, the dub actually makes sense here too. Oh, nah. The dub version is actually watchable in public because it, it doesn't is. sound like everyone's ejaculating every five syllables. <laughs> this is what, yeah, yeah. well, Japanese or English, you're still gonna get those sounds here. There's nothing you can do about Food Wars, I think. <laughs> what is this show about, bro? One day it'll get voted in and we can watch it as a community series. What the hell is that show? Every time I see clips of it, it's the most ridiculous reactions to food. It is a juicy, juicy pork, everybody. If you prefer to read anime instead of a single book ever, be my guest. But you're not better than those that don't because of it. In fact, your reading comprehension is... I don't think I'm better nor worse. I don't think English dub watchers or Japanese sub enjoyers are better or worse. It's all just personal preference. And in my opinion, I just prefer the Japanese voice acting as it just makes more sense with the settings of the animes we regularly watch. It's probably below that of a fifth grader, so I doubt you're retaining any of it anyways. You just like looking at big anime boobies, and that's okay. Why Peter? The sub is more accurate to the original creator's vision, but without the dub, we wouldn't have the One Piece rap. So they both have their strengths and weaknesses. Power scaling is 
That one piece dub, bro. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Uh oh. Gotta get the one piece because he's king of the pirates. Oh, dude, that, that opening is so cringe, but it's so iconic. So they both have their strengths and weaknesses. Power scaling is cringe and gay. I have a personal issue with every single power scaler on. I actually um enjoy the power scalers because they're funny. They're funny to me. Recently, we've been having an influx of really sweaty uh, neckbeards always trying to defend their favorite degenerate anime with bullshit talking points. And that's just cringe. I like it when it's just more monkey. More just Goku diff. Easy. On the planet Earth, but anime fans seem to be the most vocal and prolific. Goku versus Superman. Saitama and Gojo. Deku versus Naruto. Even if we're being generous and say Luffy can blow up a planet, and the One Piece planet is the size of Jupiter, or even less... This is cringe, bro. Give me Anya from Spike's family versus Gojo Satoru, bro. Give me Bochi the Rock versus this version of Naruto. Give me some funny power scaling. Say the sun or something. It's still not strong enough to beat Boreen mode Naruto or even base form Naruto, really. Deku's greatest feat of strength was splitting that enormous cloud formation with Bakugo. Wow. Measuring the size of the island and comparing it to the cloud. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no fucking way they doing math here. Clouds above, we can determine they dispersed over 63 trillion kilograms of water. How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, the real OG gangster here, back at it again with a brand new video today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boy, the real OG gangster. You see that hippo? Here, back at it again with a... What the hell is this hippo? Brand... What the fuck? Yo, <laughs> what is this thing? Julian. The hippo's name is Julian, bro. New video. Today we have a super requested fight. We are going to be scaling Weezer versus Macro. That's what I'm talking about. These kind of, you know, power scaling videos are funny to me. They're obsessed with comparing anime universes with one another and seeing who would win in an epic head. Yeah, Deku versus, you know, the guy from uh, Breaking Bad. Let's go. Would Goku beat Fanboy and Chum Chum? Depends how much prep time Fanboy and Chum Chum has. It's just annoying as shit. My advice if you happen to run into any of these creatures in the wild is when they ask, well, could that character beat Goku? You just simply say, Yes, no. and then don't respond, and then watch them cope and mold as they try and disprove you wrong. With math. My name is Walter Hartwell. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Disprove you wrong. Power scalers when the toddler won't debate them about Jotaro's. <sighs> wait, what's going on in JoJo's? Jotaro is JoJo's. What the fuck is happening here? My name is Walter Hartwell White. We should be referring to anime series with the name that is the least annoying and pretentious. Shingeki no Kyojin? That's some weak ass sauce. Man, what the fuck is this sauce, man? Who let this man cook? You did. Nah, nah, nah. That sauce weak as hell. You telling me a shrimp? Now, Attack on Titan? That's something I can get behind. That sounds... That sounds powerful. Attack on Titan or Shingeki no Kyojin. The the Japanese way of saying it, I think, is a bit more like edgier, a bit cooler. Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. I don't know. The, the Japanese it sounds a bit cooler to me. I would very easily destroy the point Dexter that calls it sorcery fight. But if I were to battle a person that calls it Jujutsu Kaisen, mm. I would instantly lose anything with an X in the name. If the X is separated... The X doesn't exist. It's not Hunter x Hunter. I thought it was Hunter x Hunter for the longest time. It's Hunter Hunter. Spy x Family? No, it's Spy Family. I never knew that. Why is the X there? It's just a separator, bro. ...separated by two spaces, you know... Hunter X Hunter? Exactly. Pronounce the fucking X. It's No, there. don't. If don't. If it wasn't meant to don't. be pronounced, then it shouldn't be there. It sh shouldn't be. Why the fuck is it there, bro? Why is the X there? Take it out. It's taking up space. It's what, what about the newest Beyblade season? Beyblade X. <laughs> is it just Beyblade? How does it work? It's messing up my feng shui. And if you come at me with some stupid shit... High school DXD. Or high, co high school DD. Was it always just high school DD? Because Rias Grammar is double D's? 
<laughs> no, in no way. It's high school, DD. No. Everything I knew is wrong. Like, oh, well, in the original Japanese naming lexicon, the X is actually pronounced, which is... Kiss X sis. Kiss sis. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Silent. Well, then, I'm going to have some very strong words for the president of Japan. Oh, chin chin. Jesus Christ, uh, one year ago, in the assassination, yikes. I am not the horny police. I'm not here to double check what hentai tags you're looking at, but be horny on your own time. I'm gonna set aside the objectification of women for this argument because, okay. let's be honest, anime watchers do not care. One of the things that seems to get a lot of the Puritans upset is fans. Yeah, fan service. They just, girl just exists, somehow trips. Her entire booba is just on the face of another dude for no reason. And then she slaps you because your hand is also on her booba. Service. Well, there's not even a small scent of complaints about fan service. <laughs> Cancel note. Not death note. Cancel note with colored hair and hoop rings. <laughs> Coming from Japan, you know, the place that produces the anime and manga it ends up in. Western heroes have stepped up to be offended about it as they spend their lives terminally online. They don't mm. want well-rounded three-dimensional characters. What they want is well-rounded two-dimensional boobies. There's nothing quite like getting into a series, getting invested into the story and characters, learning the lore and the intricacies on how this alternate world works. Only have you. all of that investment and suspension of disbelief smashed into the fucking floor. All because the creators decided to interrupt everything, just grind it to a halt so they could show some tatas show some fannies pull up the little anime girl skirt so we could see oh whoa 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 the anime watchers are not at fault for creating this issue that lies solely on the creators of the anime. well is it the creator's fault i think it's not i think there's a shared responsibility in the market the consumers and the people creating it because sex sells this is just an absolute fact that fan service, even if there's no point, even if it breaks the immersion of the storytelling, a lot of the consumers of this content are young people who brains, you know, they, 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 they just care more about just random titties appearing on screen. It engages them. It makes them more connected to the show. It's stupid. Fan service really doesn't need to happen. Yet having it present boosts the numbers and therefore the creators will then chase the numbers. So I think there's a sheer responsibility in what the people want and how the creators are then appeasing to that demand. Lies solely on the creators of the anime and the absolute degenerate anime consumers over in Japan that this fan service is catering to. And uh, to all my Japanese anime watchers that are viewing this in English, Tetsuke o metotumeru. Not funny. An anime watcher's okay. life revolves around two things being horny and being corny. And that is all that their jokes are. Though I do have to admit, I feel like this isn't the fault of the anime washer. I am going to say possibly the most controversial thing that has mm. ever passed through my soft, supple lips. Anime isn't funny. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's bad. I've quite enjoyed a lot of anime. It just means that I have not laughed a single time at a joke in a manga or anime. I think that humor sometimes definitely goes above my head. Most of the time, the shit I'm laughing at are things that the author, I, I don't think, is trying to make funny. Usually some stupid shit happens and I'm breaking it down and be like, I can't believe this happened and we're laughing about that. When a specific joke is said, like even in shows like Konosuba, where the show is comedy, there are jokes that just doesn't make sense to me or just goes over my head. And it's, maybe it's like a cultural thing, a language difference, right? But sometimes they just fall flat, and nothing wrong with that. It's just not every joke is supposed to land. ...anime series that I've watched. And it's not because I don't get it. It's not because the intricacies of the Japanese language are lost on an English speaker like me. It's simply because anime only has three jokes, and that is loud, horny, or lots of movement. An loud, horny, lots of movement. You're not wrong about that. There, there is a lot of, you know, those components that exist in these, you know, anime jokes. Anime comedy is the equivalent of jingling keys in front of a baby, but instead of a baby, it's a 30-year-old neckbeard, and instead of keys, it's boobs. Now back to the anime Hey, it's you guys. It's you guys! It's us! Watchers, similar to the anime that they consume, they also have only three jokes, except mm. I'm a little lying scoundrel, and their three jokes are just being horny. Guys, I got 
Yeah, there's a lot of this. I, well, it's, it's a, there's a lot of cringe. There's a lot of cringe fucking memes, and most of it is just dumb, stupid fan service. Like, I remember that one ReZero meme, right? It was like, Amelia. Amelia, but stronger, and it's just bigger boobs, and it's just like, haha. Uh -huh. I don't know, it's just like, who, who are these jokes for? Who made it? 12-year-old kids? I got a porn addiction. I don't know if you know this or not, but porn equals funny. Guys, porn, porn. I like porn. Listen, okay, I, I got it. Mother's basement. Konosuba isn't funny. Oh, he took her panties. Oh, she's... There are funny moments here. Even if it's grounded in those horny substances, there are genuinely funny moments in Konosuba. But there's also a lot of moments where it's just repeated same gag that I'm just not into. Always horny. Oh, look, they're always screaming if it's subverting genre tropes that is lost on me because it appears that subversion equals doing the tropes but more i love kids charlie i love kids oh and no we're going to the lolly segment yeah i think a lot of anime memes and jokes are kind of lost in translation for me again the more funny shit that i laugh at if you look at my reactions are moments where i don't think the show is trying to be funny but rather the ridiculousness of the situation that I'm breaking down and trying to approach it in a serious way, which then, because of that contrast, is really funny. Subversion equals doing the tropes, but more. I love and Konosuba, right? Subversion the tropes, right? It's like a deconstruction of isekai and making fun of all these different tropes in a more exaggerated way. I think that's a fair take, right? That like, haha, woman moment, useless, haha, darkness, you know, uh, just... Uh, what's it called? Masochist, haha, loud equals funny. I humor is still subjective. And if he's not, you know, entertained by these things, then that's fair. I was entertained by these things, but I'm not a superior enlightened intellect, you know, as him. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. More. I love kids, Charlie. I love kids. Kids, let's be honest. A lot of anime watchers are attracted to kids. Not all of them. A majority of them aren't. Most anime watchers are just annoying, law-abiding citizens. <laughs> I love cosplays like this. Just, just super jacked big men dressing up as like Anya or like just some little girl character like Umaru, bro. It's hilarious. But there are enough that are attracted to kids that it's it's a bit I ain't reading concerning. Oh, you yeah, I mean, just look at the Blue Archive community, right? It's like, listen. Y'all want to have a safe space to goon towards lollies and stuff? Go ahead. I'm just going to think you're a little bit weird. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you know, go ahead. But goddamn the... What's the word? How bold they are with their, you know, horny tweets. How just emboldened they are with, you know, all these crazy, just crazy things that you probably would never say, you know, to an actual person. But because of the nature of the anonymous and online and you have a community of like-minded people... That's gonna happen like that. Serious? You looking for a fight with that sign? Franchising lo lollies? Hell for ya? You really looking for a <sighs> I still have the same take every time. This girl is at an anime con, just like waging war on lolly cons. And, um... Uh, Fetishizing lollies is a step ahead of lolly cons, I say. No, I, I, th I think that lollicons, is a, it's a very broad spectrum, right? It, it's an enjoyer of lollies. You can think that they're cute and they're funny and you can give them a nice little head pat. And then the other side of the spectrum are people that wishes they could do a little bit more, which, you know, get you in jail. And just like, as you say, age is just a number, so is the amount of time they're going to spend in prison. Then people say, well, it's just a drawing, man. Relax. Well, yeah, but like, can you describe the drawing for me? What is it a drawing of? And if you can comfortably say what you're drawing of, then it's just like, okay, all right. I don't think every lolicon is a pedo. But I think that every pedo definitely would enjoy lolicon content. There's definitely a connection of people who enjoy these kind of things and people who would make the act. But not every person who enjoys you know, lolicon content would commit the act. And I think this applies to pretty much everything. Even like uh, one of the talking points against this one is like, what about video games, bro? Just because people play Call of Duty, you think they're all just murderers? No, 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 no. You're not understanding the point. I think that every person that plays Call of Duty is not a fucking serial killer or a murderer or someone that wants to kill with a gun. No. But if you were to give those people that actually committed the act, would they enjoy 
just shooting up people in Call of Duty, they probably say, yeah, right? I think there is a sense of logic there that's one-to-one. -one. And no, I'm not arguing with you. It's just a fact. If you, for any reason, feel the need to write a college-length thesis to describe why you're attracted to something, you're attracted. Just say you do. Just bold face say you do, right? Don't try to play around the skirts and try to justify that she's a 9,000-year-old demon lord and she just looks like a, you know, 9-year-old girl. Just say proudly that you do it and we can move on. Did the kids. If someone finds poop sexy, they say, I love poop. I love eating poop. Yum yum. Boy, do I love eating poop. If someone says I'm attracted to big, naked, oiled-up black men twerking and shaking their booty cheeks, they say, hello. My name is Flays. If someone is attracted to Lolly, they say, well, she's actually 10,001 years old and is also a- Stop doing mental gymnastics. Just admit it. And the point here being made is that Lollycons already know what they're playing with. It's fire. And rather than boldly just, you know, proudly accepting the fact that you do enjoy it, you do these mental gymnastics to, you know, defend your position because you inherently are basically self-reporting that this is kind of weird and I need to now make these arguments on why it's appropriate to enjoy these things, right? I think that's a bit of a self-report. A half tiger, half elf, 0.0009% human goddess. And with those specific genes, she matures at a faster rate than normal humans. So she's actually a lot more mature than most adults. Okay, and okay. More wise, the legal age of consent in generic fantasy world number 332 is... That's another thing. Times are different. In Mushoku Tensei days, the age of consent and different things, you shouldn't apply real-world societal, you know, uh, laws into this medieval fantasy show. You are right, but I can still think it's weird because I'm watching it from somebody that's living in real life. It's 12 years old, so it's not morally or legally wrong. And also, I'm attracted to the personality. If you feel the need to justify what gets you going to such an extent that Twitter had to up its character limits from 160 to infinity to accommodate your cope, and for okay. some reason you get upset that Japan upped the age of consent from 13 to 16? Yikes. That says a lot about you as a person, and I do not wish to interact with you, much like anyone in your family or friend circles. Also, stop using the word cunny. I'm not going to explain what it means, but if you know... It's funny and cute, guys. Just stop using it. I shit it in my pants. I am a lot of people are going to get upset. Anytime the topic of lollicons show up, you know, people always get so upset. But hey, you want to be a lollicon? Just be yourself. Be confident. Stop making these dumbass excuses. Just say it. Just say it you know, loudly and proudly and we can just move on. I'm going to think you're a little bit weird, but I bet a lot of people would think that I'm weird too. This video was really all over the place, huh? Went from shitting on uh, English versus dub. Sorry, dub versus sub. Anime profile pictures on Twitter. Uh, anime is not funny. Fan service and lollicons. Just... Getting the ammunition out to just shit on everybody, but it's a pretty interesting video. Please go give Mr. Flay's Fire a like on the video if you did. Check out his channel. Remember, it's just entertainment. Stop writing your fucking essay. I don't need to hear your justification why you like nine-year-old girls, bro. Get out of here.